year 10. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes uh, today and this week just to, to say hello um, and I hope that you're all doing really well. I hope that you've got into a you know a bit of a routine and you know can follow your timetable and are able to access all the lessons um, and obviously you're trying your best which is all, all that we want. I wasn't really expecting to do another video but here we are I don't think any of us was, were expecting to to be at home learning um, in this sort of way again but we're here so we've just got to crack on and find a way of getting through it. I just wanted to say that we haven't forgotten about you. I know that there's a lot of talk in the media about year 11s and 13s and everything that's happening with the exams and a lot of focus have, have gone on them. But you are also a year group that have started your GCSEs. You started them in September, you came back and you know I was so proud of how you guys you know really got stuck into your lessons. You've started your courses, yes it's difficult and you've you know you've started them at a difficult time and I don't think anyone could have envisaged that you know we'd be here again and we would be finding the struggles that we are. I've been so proud to walk into your lessons since the start of September and see how dedicated that you are to those courses that you've chosen. You know walking into the media and when you're doing your mood boards, mess everywhere but Miss Saber didn't really care about that because you were producing some excellent excellent work. Same with business when we've walked in and you've been creating your um, your companies and doing your research and you know it's just so interactive and I've been really really happy to see you guys enjoying your courses. You know it's been it's been amazing to see all your hard work and this hard work hasn't been forgotten. This disruption we didn't expect it to happen. Um, obviously you guys have been disrupted a little bit more than, than some other year groups because you had a break in, in November for a couple of weeks as well. We haven't forgotten that and we know it's it's been really, really difficult. Some people have enjoyed working at home and you know they've, they've loved it and it, their way of working has really helped and really worked for them. A lot of you, you haven't enjoyed it and it's not you know the ideal way of working and we completely get that. It's not my ideal way of working. I'd much rather be stood at the front in the sports hall or you know in the Carmelite Hall delivering assemblies face to face. Um, I'm not one to look at a screen for, for the whole day. I couldn't think of anything worse, but here we are and we're having to adapt. I know that a lot of you have adapted and you are, you know, even though you don't enjoy it, you've been doing great. Some of you have produced some really, really fantastic work and you're trying to you know, follow your timetable, produce as much work as you can, and you're trying your best. And I've been really, really happy, and we've been really proud of how much of work and how much hard work you guys have put in to your studies. So all I can say is just keep going, okay? Keep working hard. We've all had to adapt. Don't give up. Let's be resilient. This is where we can start and look forward, okay? We don't know what's gonna happen, um, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, let alone next year. So all I can say is, you know, we're there to support you. We will be in the same position, okay, as you. We will listen to the news and just go with it. We can make plans. We can make plans to support you. We can look at strategies to look at when we go back to school. We can look at the strategies and systems that we can put in place to allow you to reach your potential. Okay, but for now... You've just got to work hard, and you are. Okay, you just got to keep going. Your hard work isn't unnoticed. All of your teachers are there to support you. They're there at the end of an email or comment. I'm showing my homework, and now, you know, we've started to introduce the live lessons. I hope that you're enjoying those because a lot of you have asked for that interaction. Please remember that the teachers are on show my homework. They can give you immediate feedback as soon as you submit your work, even if it isn't live. So please make sure you do ask them questions, you do submit the work, you do email people. People are always in front of their laptops, we can't go anywhere unfortunately. Um, so we are always behind our laptops, so please use the forums, the, the show my homework and the emails just as much um, as you would in a classroom. Ask questions, that's what we're here for. All right. So even though we have got some live lessons, please make sure that you are using the show my homework comments and email. We don't know how long it's going to be, but we're all going to be here together. OK, we are all here to support you. 
please reach out. I know that your tutors have been reaching out every week. Um, some of you, you know, reach back to them and ask them how they're doing and we've loved it. Okay, but please look after yourselves. If you need to speak, you know, I'm here, your tutors are here, Miss Matik is here, all of the teachers are here. Anyone that you would like to speak to, send an email, show my homework, uh, put a comment on. Just reach out to anybody because we are here to support you. Okay, Make sure you've got a good routine. Some people are saying how hard it is to get motivated and to complete work. And I get that if you're sat at home on your own or you know locked away in your, your bedroom away from your siblings because they're being noisy. It's really hard to find that motivation to complete the work. So try and get into a routine. I would suggest possibly try and follow your timetable, especially with the live lessons now that are being available. Give yourself rewards and breaks. I know it sounds silly, but after you've completed a lesson, walk away for 10 minutes. Go and make a coffee, go and make a hot chocolate, go and watch TV for 15, 10 minutes. You know, away from your laptop screen, allow you just to come down and just to relax for those for a short time. And then when you go back up to your desk or wherever you're working, okay, you know that this is the time that you're trying to focus, get motivated, get over these 30 minutes, complete this piece of work, then you've got another work, then you've got another break. Make sure you have breaks, please. It is important that you get away from the screen. It is important you go outside and get some fresh air. It is important for a little bit of exercise, even if it's going to walk the dog. Okay? Make sure you get out and you give yourselves plenty of breaks. Okay? We are all here. Please reach out. Please let us know if you're okay or you're struggling. We will try your best to help you. Okay? But please, please tell us. I will try and contact, you know, I've contacted a lot of you already. And I've heard back some, some brilliant things, you know, things that might help, things that people are struggling with. I've tried to email back, you know, send in some information to, to, try and, to try and support you, to help you get motivated or help you concentrate. Please, please keep reaching out. Don't stop. Your hard work is being noticed. So keep trying your best. And that is all we ask for. Thank you, Year 10.